What's going on guys, it's I, your friendly neighbourhood twat in a Sonic Hat Calamity and I'm coming to you today with something a bit different than we normally cover here. So recently a petition has been doing the rounds on Sonic Book and I've got to say this is a bit of a strange one. So I'm going to pick it apart and see what we can figure out from it. This guy Seth says, Sonic Prime might have a serious tone but I think it just needs a little comedy. What do you guys think? Now, before we get into all the meat and potatoes of this, I just want to say that don't be sending hate to Seth or anyone else that you see posting this. People are entitled to their opinion. I just think this opinion is very misguided. So it says, make the tone of Sonic Prime less serious and more fun. And 73 people have currently signed this out of 100. My problem with this is I feel whoever has made this, and I, again, I mean no disrespect to them. Um, I think it is Seth who's made this position. I mean no disrespect to you. But I think you've got the complete wrong end of the stick with Sonic Prime. And in a lot of ways, Sonic himself. Now, Sonic has always been a very light-hearted and comedic character, and it's shone through all of his material. However, there have been serious tones to the Sonic franchise all the way through. If you think about the message of what Sonic was originally, it was this idea of nature combating corporate capitalism and you know, deforestation and things of that nature. When you look at Robotnik in the early cartoon shows such as The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Underground, he is a very sinister looking villain. He's running a dystopian world, like it's it's always had very serious tones. If we look at Sonic Adventure and the killing of the Echidna Clan, Sonic Adventure 2 and the murder of Maria, even Sonic 06 with its multiple dark themes and of course, Sonic getting killed. Sonic X did a very similar thing, covering the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 games, and also as it went into its third season, fighting the Metarex. I mean, we literally saw Dark Supersonic. But these were all very well balanced with comedy, humour, lightheartedness, and feel-good vibes at the end of the day. And I know in terms of Sonic recently, things have got a lot more lighthearted, and you know, in this meta era that people call it. But if you think of Forces, Forces took a bit more of a serious turn as well, while still having that feel-good energy and just good vibes. Good vibes all around. Well, maybe not when it comes to Forces, but, you know, you get my point. The other thing is, it's very well known that it's going to be a kid's show. I know that people are annoyed by this, but what did you expect? It's a children's show. It's aged to a demographic, I believe, between 6 and 11 years old. Yet it's said that it's going to have things for fans of all ages to enjoy. Of course they can have a humorous and comedic tone alongside a bit more dire stakes. I think that's what a lot of the fandom want, to be honest with you. People can hate on 06, but it had those core sonic feels to it as well as having world-ending stakes that the team had to fight against. Sonic saving the multiverse is a really great concept for them to use, and that doesn't mean it's going to have no comedy. We've seen a concept art picture of Sonic doing the floss and laughing. It's going to be a comedy, guys. There's going to be those hooks for all the kids to enjoy, and adults as well. If you look at Sonic Boom and the way that voice acting cast had grown to work together, and the performance they were able to deliver from that, it is just so good. I, I love it. I love going through funniest moments clips from Sonic Boom because that humor really hits. And I know it's a different voice cast, but I still feel that comedy is going to be there. It's integral to Sonic the Hedgehog. I worry that we as fans are going to run into a situation because we're already laughed at for being Sonic fans. You know, it's, it's a fact. Accept it. I have. It's the way it is. But we changed the movie design. We did something massive. We, we put our thoughts out there. None of us were happy with it and they changed it. This isn't something I feel we need to petition to change. We need to allow artistic expression. The people that have been working on this have been working incredibly hard 
to bring this together. There's gonna to be a huge budget, a big team. It's a big deal creating something like this. And I feel that if we're going to nitpick with story creative choices, making petitions that I honestly don't think we need, I think it's going to be a very good balance between some serious dramatic stakes at times, but mostly humour, the power of teamwork and friendship, and as we know, the story of redemption. I just don't feel this really does a lot for artistic expression. And I know you could say that about the first movie, but I guess I'm on the side of I didn't like that design and I'm, I'm not on the side of this, you know, call me a hypocrite. But it just, I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me. I think we should let Man of Action and Wild Brain come out with what they're gonna come out with. Let's see how it is. Let's respond to what we like about it, what we don't like about it when it's there. It's an artistic expression and we have to respect that. And I feel like I have a lot of confidence in this show. I'm, I'm looking forward to this show. I'm not a huge fan of the shoes or the gloves, not gonna lie to you, but that's just me. That's not gonna ruin the show for me. So I feel we just need to kind of chill a bit. And th again, this is no disrespect to Seth at all. Um, I think it's amazing that people have enough passion that they will make these petitions or make silly YouTube videos talking about these petitions and whatever Sonic news comes along. So yeah, I, I, I think it's a bit strange. I just wanted to bring it up because I've seen it in a lot of places and I thought it was quite an interesting point of conversation. What do you guys think? Do you think that Boom should have a less serious tone and more comedy? Are you like me where you think there should be a balance? Or do you want an all serious Sonic cartoon? You know, no humor, no nothing. Let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd really love to hear what people think about this. This is just my perspective on it. As I said, no shooting hate to people. Not worth it. Focus on the positives, but hey ho, let me know what you think in the comments. Of course, slap a like on this as well. You'd really be doing me a favor. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell so you never miss out on any Calamity Hatcher content. I cover a lot of Sonic around here. I stream a lot of Sonic games. I stream a lot of Smash Bros playing as Sonic. So stick around. When we get to 1,500 subscribers, another milestone, I'm gonna be giving away the hat. Not just any hat, this exact Calamity Hatcher Sonic the Hedgehog 30th anniversary hat. I'm gonna sign it for you. And I'm gonna send it over. It will be my actual hat upon thine head. I've got another one over there that I'm gonna start wearing from then. Someone said it'd be a cool idea for me to give this away. So if you want it, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and I will see you guys on the next one on your number one source for Sonic the Hedgehog. Have a great day. Take care, lots of love. Bye guys.